guys welcome back to my channel so I saw this hack that you can clean your beauty blenders um, or beauty sponges in a different way I normally just use water and baby shampoo to clean my my sponges and for the most part they come out pretty clean I usually um, apply baby shampoo about 30 times rinse it out and um, I know that you're not supposed to clean your beauty blenders every single day but I do I don't know if, if I have told you guys but I have this horrible obsession with keeping my face clean so I do all these masks and all this stuff so just the thought of using a nasty beauty blender um, on my face ugh, gives me the creeps so I do wash it often this one I just used so it is a little bit dirty and then um, this one is from where is this thing from oh this is the sponge from Real Techniques and um, I do have oh this one is so nasty this is the original beauty blender and this one is so disgusting looking because this one is this one I have not washed in a long time and the reason why is because I only use this one for powder for whenever I set my concealer so that's where the reason why I haven't washed it because that's the only reason why I use it but this one is super disgusting I'm actually embarrassed to show this on camera real quick as you guys notice my clothes my makeup everything is from my previous video and that's because I did film both videos on the same day just in case somebody wants to ask me so um, the hack that I saw on these beauty blenders was to put them in the microwave so I guess we could go ahead and try it so let's go ahead and go downstairs to my kitchen and let's try this hack out together to see if it's a hit or a miss so let's go guys all right so there's no specific instructions from what I saw so um, it is the, all it said was to get a mug, so which I have right here, fill it up with water. And I'm going to go ahead and fill it just halfway. And then it said to add some soap. I'm going to use the dishwashing liquid soap, the Dawn. And I'm going to apply a lot. And then we're going to go ahead and dump these in there and I am going to submerge them just like that so we're gonna go ahead and put it for one minute and we go wait 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 So here they are, it is hot so be careful, the water does look pretty gross. Oh damn it's just so hot, get a fork. Well, this one looks clean. Oh, shit. Because I'm squeezing it. But this one just had powder in it, so maybe that's why it looks a little bit... So that's why it probably looks clean. Powder is easier to clean. Let me take this other one, which this one was super nasty. So I can still see all these stains right here. The ones over here cleaned up really good. Oh damn, as I'm squeezing it. Oh, it's so nasty. Still hot. So I think over here cleaned good. Over here we still got these stains right here. And we got some chocolate milk. Not just kidding. 
So let me dump out this nasty water and then I'll put it in the micro for another minute. Since this one is pretty clean, I'm not going to put this one in there again. We'll just put this one since this one's nasty right there. So let me run to the microwave and we'll put it for one more minute. So this is the next time the water did come out more cleaner than before. I still see those stains there, but maybe I just need to scrape the product out. It looked really clean, but I could not get these stains off. This one looks clean overall. I don't know how I feel about this hack. I don't think it actually works. I think my beauty blenders come out even cleaner whenever I clean them. Um, just with baby shampoo, and it still has so much shampoo in there. Look at that. This one too. Maybe because they're so in there. So I think this hack is a thumbs down. Thumbs down. So if you guys have any other suggestions on cleaning these, let me know in the comments. And I can try them out. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you on my next video. Bye.